While you're here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to know when I post. Hit that notification bell. Hit it right now. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. A broke nigga could never love me. A broke nigga. Like, they just... Oh, my God. Men who are broke and men who are not generous... Like, actually, no, let me rephrase that because you can have a lot of money and not be a, and be and not be a generous person and it's giving broke energy. It's, you can drive a Lambo because you're cheap and you're not generous. It's giving broke. It's giving insecure. It's giving Mr. Krabs. OK, no one wants that. That is one of the ugliest things. OK, and I always find that I always think like I'm like, you're going to lose your money. Because money is like water. It should go and come back freely. You give and you get. You give and you get. But you're so goddamn stingy with it. And the only person that you want to spend it on is yourself. And you don't want to help nobody. And I'm not over here asking for a handout. I mean, like, they don't want to give money to homeless people because they be like, you deserve to be homeless. You go to hell for that. Just so you know. So somebody who's generous who because like think about it also like can you imagine imagine you're with a man he's rich he got money he's not generous though he may buy you nice things when it suits him and his cause okay imagine you got kids with that person and then you gotta go back and forth over who I paid for that shoe last week if your relationship is not going well and like you guys have to like deal with having kids together yeah well I paid for his shoes last week you should pay for his shoes next week I paid for his lunch yesterday. Why don't you, man, like what you have money. Can you imagine like having to go back and forth over these things? Like these things that are just things that do not make or break your life. That's that kind of broke shit that I'm staying away from. Like, cause when I, you know, a lot of, like I put in my, I have a number, bitch. I have a monthly number income of how much I need my man to make a month. Okay. And yeah, a guy can come along and he can make that much money and, uh, divine will have to stay very far away from him. If he's got broke man energy, if he is penny pinching and counting every single thing that he does for you, want to come at you randomly and during the weekday with a text that said, I bought dinner the last four times. When are you going to pay me with some coochie? No, no. Like, don't do that. Don't. Can you imagine you're with somebody? And like, I'm a very generous person. So like, I don't really think about like money like that. Like I, if I think of you and I see something and I'm like, oh, you'd like this. I buy it and I save it for you and I give it to you whenever. Um, I'm not really a penny pincher like that because I feel like people who do that, they're, 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 they're constantly think it's going tit for tat, tit for tat. Like I did this. You should do this next time. I did this. You should do this next time. I I paid for that. You pay for that. I pay for that. You pay. Eh. I understand that there are people who do take advantage of that and you always want to make sure that like you're not being taken advantage of but like sometimes I watch it unfold in front of my eyes and I'm like you know anybody else would be insulted but like I can see where that insecurity comes from and I'm not gonna hold it against you because I'm gonna keep being generous I mean like this I'm just talking like in general relationships it's not flying with me at all um because like just imagine you have a kid together and then y'all gotta go tit for tat over everything with the kid like that man will be like yeah i i gave him 10 cents worth of milk what like no okay so anyways i in my diary i have a monthly amount that my man needs to make a month okay and it's not no small number either um thank you period (laughs) material girls okay um because i like nice things i like comfort and like it's funny because like It's funny because my want for a wealthy husband does not necessarily come from me wanting material things. It comes from me surviving the recession. And it comes from me knowing that when I have kids, his children, I want to enjoy my little friends. I don't want to be a struggling mother. I don't want to have somebody that I'm arguing with over money. I want for the moment I get pregnant for my husband to be like, oh, let me get you like a nanny. 
or like a cook and not a nanny because I'm going to leave my kids with them and like just go away. No, not at all. A nanny because children, it takes a village to raise children and they need a lot of attention and they need a lot of care and it's tiring for one person to do it. Okay. So just to have that comfort. And even if I got a nanny for my man to be like, I want to be an active part in our kids' lives. What do you want me to do? Let me do this thing before you even ask me to do it. Like that girl, I'm I'm basically talking a fantasy right now. But you know what? I believe in God. I believe God can give me what I'm asking for. I ain't asking for much. (laughs) I'm not asking for much. Just a kind man. That's a lot. A kind, rich man in today's America, I may be asking God for too much, but you know, knock on wood. Mm -hmm. While you're here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to know when I post. Hit that notification bell. Hit it right now. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Don't be shy. Hit the subscribe button. You know you want to subscribe to me, girl. So go ahead and do that, okay? I love you. Bye. Unless you didn't hit the notification bell or the subscribe button. In which case, I still love you. Bye.